How's it going? My name is Sam New, and this is my submission for decoding the blockbuster assignment for Media 2010. After reading the article on the blockbuster geography and kind of the way that uh, movies are portrayed uh, when it comes to their characters and where they live, I thought it was very interesting. Um, I especially like the part where it goes over kind of the locations in like Wayne's World. Um, kind of portraying, despite all the different types of movies that says like Jaws and, and Karate Kid and Wayne's World, uh, the location of where they live, um, although a small factor in the movie, kind of more like a background thing, um, how that really affects uh, watchers and, and how they portray these characters. Uh, kind of showing them in the slower middle class or more comfortable middle class uh, affects viewers in a way that you wouldn't initially think and although it's not a huge impact on the story not like a cornerstone of the film uh, having those small details like that uh, affects viewers and so I wanted to see how those examples within the article kind of relate to a more modern setting and after whenever I think of modern blockbuster I the one topic that comes to my mind is superhero movies superhero movies have become huge in the 21st century and although popular or it's starting to come up in the 20th century i feel like um, hollywood never really took him seriously until 2008 with the two huge hits with the dark knight and iron man um i think those are really like icebreakers when it comes to hollywood finally realizing the um potential superhero movies and so i kind of wanted to go over the subliminal or like more background ideas of these superhero movies and how it affects viewers um if you want to know more about the rise of these superhero films i read an article by the new york film academy i'll put it in the description below um, when it comes to the effects of superhero movies um we kind of look at escapism a little bit as we talked about earlier in the semester and how the modern time kind of might lean into escapism through these superhero movies as we see in 2008 that was very popular but even looking at 2022 uh we see dr strange in the multiverse of madness even though the huge superhero movie titles have like released uh we still see when some people consider um these uh kind of slower or not as popular or not as like huge impact superhero movies we still see them hit near the top charts so in 2022, we have Doctor Strange at number four. In 2023, where we had huge movies like Barbie and Oppenheimer, kind of other movies take the spotlight. We still have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 at number four once again. And Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is number six. Um, moving on to 2024, we still have a lot of ways to go. And I can't wait to see how superhero movies kind of continue to become a trend in the box office. So we have this idea of escapism of these like heroes especially like anti-heroes um kind of overcome these challenges that they're faced they're uh, uh superheroes but they're not perfect they're still humanizing in a lot of ways and we can relate to that so how does that how do these directors kind of use that platform of a superhero movie to kind of portray some of these smaller things like um like the suburbs and those uh, previous blockbusters and for me I think the biggest impact or like background uh, things about these superheroes is kind of their identity or who they are. Not, I don't believe that's something that like from a core standpoint as a person, uh, these superheroes are very similar in a lot of ways, but there's small things that kind of play a big role um, when it comes to um, this like background messaging for superheroes and after reading an article by the medium two uh things that it brings up that i think are very important are uh the first one the portrayal of uh african americans in uh we see this a lot in um black panther uh black panther was huge during the time and an incredible superhero movie and uh even the small things within that and some people would consider big things um such as the large cast of African-American actors uh, kind of getting a spotlight and the portrayal of kind of more traditional um, African culture and clothing, like small things like that, which people probably wouldn't consider the large like plot of uh, Black Panther, right? Um, but those things in that exposure um, to viewers who love superhero movies, if 
like even if they're not uh familiar with like traditional uh african american clothing for example um kind of got that exposure through that um and it's those subtle things that kind of have an impact on viewers and gave it that exposure um while still using the superhero platform another uh topic that uh the author brings up um author dan weibel uh of the medium talks about um uh, female superheroes especially ones that are written by females um and kind of their uh the way that those superheroes handle conflict we still see uh in this uh example uh, he quotes Emily Sanchez, uh, who wrote an article influencing stereotypes and prejudices and perceptions of superheroes, how she kind of talks about how different um, female um, superheroes are when written by females. Uh, kind of um, things like um, using different aspects to like handle conflict we still have the structure of like a superhero who is human and flawed and using their powers to kind of overcome the situation um victoria inglis says things such as um accomplishing their tasks um using uh curiosity cleverness and determination less brute force uh, which we often see in superhero movies a lot using the kind of like the brute force that action um, but even small things like that where a portrayal of female superheroes um, using these powers or like using their intellect to solve a problem or reveal the truth rather than just using you know their powers to punch people um, still has a structure and the same escapism the same story of a superhero movie but just that small way of kind of going about it um, kind of exposes that a little bit and kind of like that subconscious mind so overall i think that superhero movies as a structure are very popular and i think we're seeing more and more especially in movie or in tv shows although not blockbuster like the boys using the superhero genre making it very satirical and making a social commentary but still having that structure of a superhero movie I think we're seeing that a lot more in blockbusters and we'll see it even more and more using these uh, platforms of the superhero type movie uh, and slowly kind of impacting our society through whatever messaging that the directors want to do, whether it's exposure of other cultures, whether it's exposures of new ideas or the way different generals are portrayed. Um, I think that that is something that's um, talked about but overlooked in some cases so um, I hope that was an interesting topic I thought it was interesting to me and I hope that kind of gets your gears going a little bit thank you so much and have a good one